They're the Kambini Boys. They're the Kambini Boys. They're the Kambini. They're the Kambini. They're the Kambini. They're the Kambini Boys. Hey, Mike. Hey, Matt. How's it going? Yeah, it's going okay here, Mike. Um, just telling you, I've been exploring the uh, worst parts of Tumblr, and it's been doing a lot of positive things for my mental health and <laughs> picking up a lot of tips on bulimia. And it's actually really sad. I got to get off this stuff. As well. Get off there. Anyway, yeah. you're back. Uh, you're back in America. So um, welcome, welcome home. Hey. That's right, yeah. Special visit, special surprise um, visit here. Um, yeah, back for the week, just seeing my um, my dad. Uh, he's been in the hospital, um, but looking looking like he's doing better. So really excited, um, you know, to be back here for a week. You know, catching up on some, you know, fast food. Nice. Pizza, you know, stuff pizza. like that. Um, yes. Wish it was a longer trip, but yeah, yeah. It's, it's exciting to be back for sure. All right, Mike. Well, as usual, we got a lot to talk about at the Kambini, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to kick things off. Mike, Father's Day is, is coming up, fast approaching. Mm -hmm. It's only a little over two weeks away, June 19th, Mike. Oh, my. Everybody has about two and a half weeks to get ready for Father's Day. Mm -hmm. And um, the Kambini, Mike, they've got you covered. Oh, yeah. Family Mart actually has an entire catalog around <laughs> Mother's and Father's Day gifts. You can digitally browse this catalog, order yes. items from it, and pick it up at your Family Mart. It makes it nice and easy. The trouble, though, is, Mike, Yeah. I did a little investigative research. Mm -hmm. And for our Primo newsletter subscribers, which now number two, mm -hmm. they saw the full investigative piece <laughs> that revealed a big disparity between the items available for moms for Mother's Day versus the items available for dad for Father's Day. Right. And Mike, I want to give our audience a little preview here. I got the catalog open, as a matter okay. of fact, and yep. just a quick lay of the land here. You can see every item mm -hmm. they, they designate for Mother's Day mm -hmm. or Father's Day or both. Now, there are a yep. lot of items in this catalog that... Mm -hmm are suggested for both mom and dad yeah but mike mm -hmm. we got a whole lot of products that are just for mom mm -hmm. for instance yeah if i could successfully browse the internet <laughs> i'd be able to show our viewers this travesty what the hell am i doing here it's tough you know they're not letting you zoom. That's what's going on. Here. Sorry, everybody. I'm struggling with some zooming. I'm reloading the page here. All right. Here we are. Yes. This, this digital catalog navigation sucks, by the way. Can we get a goddamn engineer on this? All right. Okay. Looking at a whole page here just for moms, Mike. Look at this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now... Not only do they have entire pages of flowers just mm -hmm. for mom, they mm -hmm. have flower bouquets made out of cake just mm -hmm. for moms. Okay, wow. they got these, they have orbs of jelly stuffed mm -hmm. with straw, with, I guess cherries actually, mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. for mom. Yeah. And this goes on and on and on. Mm -hmm. Okay, all these flowers, we have pages of flowers, pages. Yeah of flowers just for mom you know what we got for dad mike you know what we got What's for that? dad what do we got let me show you what we got for dad because you can't jump to a page flip all <laughs> the way to the back here this is what we got we got a backpack yeah we got a we got a man purse <laughs> and we got an umbrella that's all we got that's all we got just for in dad. terms of and just for dad, this dad exclusively for dad. Yes, we got these three uh, items. That's what you're telling me. Yeah, and you know what that says to dad? Go to work mm -hmm. in the rain. Buy me stuff. Yeah, that's what that says. Yeah, to dad. That's all he's getting. That's that's a problem, Matt. Um, what's going on here? You know, uh, first off, why are these specific to dad? 
um, these could be for mom. Um, these a, the ones for mom too. could also be for for dad. Um, there doesn't seem to be. I understand the like, okay, mom, you know, pink flowers, you know, uh, pink sweets and whatever. Sort of the the mom and dad coded colors and stuff like that. However, um, the unfortunate part is, yeah, these are just for dad, but these are not. These don't seem to be specific you know men's products I guess they're blue and black and you know I guess maybe men would want to use but the, hey mom would like this uh, this umbrella as well I think um, so in some ways Matt I'm feeling like there's there's really nothing that um, makes sense for um, just dad and um, that's really unfortunate um, I feel like in past years we've had at least a more sort of you know um, a bigger range of, of items that were targeted more towards dad what what do you think's going on this year? Why are why is why are dads getting the shaft? I have no idea. I don't I don't know that. I think I think Father's Day. I mean, mm-hmm. if you if if you miss sending a card on Mother's Day, mm-hmm. you know that's a that's a that's a big miss. That's a problem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've made that mistake in the past. It's terrible. Right. Yeah, you miss a card on Father's Day. I think it's okay. You can let it go. Right. Right. In fact, I don't know if I've ever sent a card on Father's Day, which is kind of interesting. So maybe the problem isn't Family Mart. Maybe the problem is me. Maybe <laughs> I need maybe I need to look internally and stop complaining about this catalog and adjust my own behavior around how I show appreciation to my parents. Right. Well, this brings us up to a larger issue in the, in the world, and you're exactly right. Um, let's be honest. Yeah, and like you just said, Mother's Day versus Father's Day. It almost feels like, hey, there was Mother's Day. Well, let's have a Father's Day as well. But, you know, in the end, everybody just really, really, you know, it's all about the moms, you know. Moms are the ones that people want to say, you know, thank you to. Um, I think there was actually, like, in the past, like, a Chris Rock skit where he's talking about how, like, you know, moms, it's all, all the songs are about, like, thank you, mom, I love my mom, and dad doesn't get anything. Um, except like the, you know, I, I forget how it goes, but anyways, um, yeah, Matt, I, I, you know, it's unfortunate, um, I guess, but you know, maybe it's just showing how much we love moms and the world loves moms. Not that people do not that we don't love dads. Cause we, of course we love, we love our dads, but, um, yeah, maybe it's pointing towards a gen- general, more general trend, Matt. Well, actually, as, as I look at this catalog a little bit more closely and I thought I broke it down. Being able to see some flaws in my my investigative piece here, there are some more items here exclusively oh. for dad. Yes, there notably are. on the uh, alcohol side. Okay, well now we're yeah, we're just... we got some sake. <laughs> Actually, there are quite a few here. Not nearly as many as as mom, but yeah. uh, as we explore the pages, there is quite a bit of booze here. That is for dad, sake, shochu, etc. Okay. And then if, so, so I guess yeah. I guess I guess what we're saying to dad is, you know, go to work in the rain, <laughs> get blackout drunk when you come home. Um, That's not really even a, you don't even have to give a present for that. That's just like the natural day to day. Sort of day, to day. <laughs> <laughs> just this time, you know, it's a more sort of special sake you can have. Although, can you go a little bit more to the right there? Because I saw that there was actually a mom specific alcohol there as well there's a dad a craft beer for mom and then a craft beer for dad i guess the color okay here we go the label is blue versus the label is pink matt i mean this is is yes. basic you know men's <laughs> women marketing as, as you'll see um but I, yeah um again you know i don't know how i feel about this i think all right i think we've come full circle matt first we were thinking family mart was up to no good then we're thinking this is a greater trend now i think we're back to Family Mart just is just didn't do a great job this year. There doesn't seem no, to be any gotta, sort of. They got to revamp this whole campaign. <laughs> this is no good at all. All right, don't shop at Family Mart for Father's Day. <laughs> That's right. All right, yeah. I'm sorry I brought it up. I wasted hours on that investigative piece <laughs> that very few people ended up reading. Anyway, no. we got to move on, Mike. It's time yes. for some chicken action. It is time for some chicken action, Matt, and we've got a couple of chickies this week. I'm happy to say. Um, First off, we have got, coming out of Family Mart, um, I don't actually even know 
what this is to be to be honest matt we've got the no co cheese fumi cheese fumi let's be honest that's a just a, a hint of, of taste of cheese this is the cheese chicken matt i don't oh, know what way, this I the, is i got the old lady here she's about to run the uh, nespresso machine so okay there we go all For right hey listeners. hey hey everybody <laughs> who's that i see a hand i see a hand um, All right, carry on. Okay, yeah. So Matt, we got the uh, the Noco cheese fumi cheese chicken. This is a. I don't know what this is, Matt. I'm gonna be honest. This looks almost like a um, a little like cheese chicken pancake. Um, I don't know what it is. Um, they've got a picture here of three of them in a basket. They almost look like um, deep fried sort of slices of potatoes. Almost like um, pit, you know, uh, sweet potato tempura. Um, Matt, maybe you've yeah. done a um, a little bit more research in this. I don't know what this is. Is this chicken, Matt? Is what is this? I, I haven't, Mike. But um, here's what they're saying. This is uh, a couple different types of chicken. It says they got some breast meat. I think some thigh meat in there, and they've uh, I think they've minced it and they've just mashed it up into mm. this. Uh, indescribable mm -hmm. flesh that if you if you look back up at the cross section there this doesn't look anything like chicken no it's kind of pink it's kind of white you know it looks like something you might uh use in i don't know mason work or something like this <laughs> I, I don't know if i'd I, i'd want to eat this and then the batter doesn't look particularly good either it's uh it looks like uh, you know a limp uh, scrambled egg wrapped around the uh, yeah. wrapped yeah. around the meat there. Nothing yeah. crispy or crunchy. Yeah, nothing crispy or crunchy. It's very strange. Cheese fumi, so I guess it's got a hint of cheese-ness to it. I don't know. Yes. I I do not have high expectations for these. Of course, these jaga. Mm, these guys we were talking about. Yeah, Absolutely. the koro jaga. I have some Go of those. Yeah, check those out. All right, Matt. Moving right along, we got two more coming out of Family Art. Not sure if we're going to call these new guys. We've got the Family Kara, Family Mart's Karaage. We've got the salt, and we got the soy sauce. These are just um, Karaage. Um, you know them and you love them. They're just balls of chicken, deep fried balls of chicken. Matt. Um, any, any, any note on these guys? Anything to say? No. I mean, soy sauce and salt. Yep. Salt and salt. Mm -hmm. I like it, you know. Yeah. A little pricey. It's a hundred yen for one. That is. That's one. Yeah, pop. One pop in the in the mouth. That's a that's a buck. You know. You think about it like that. That's a good way of thinking it. You, you know, just you know. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three, four, five. You can see the money just kind of flying out of your your wallet. Hashtag you know? Bidenflation. That's what that is. <laughs> he was just in Japan, Mike. Oh, he brought everything along the this guy touches. Like... That's right. <laughs> carries sacks of money with him that's all he does <laughs> all right okay well uh going on to our last uh item this week oh boy it's back matt we've got the uh the technology that we've been following we've got the chicken skin wrapped chicken um and inside of that is shichimi togarashi Shichimi togarashi, the famous uh, condiment or uh, spice in Japan, which is a blend of seven spices. Spicy, um, spicy little uh, mix there. I love it. Shichimi togarashi, big fan. Um, and this is using that technology of chicken fried within chicken skin that's been wrapped. Um, not just the chicken skin. This is actually like after the fact sort of wrapped in deep fried or wrapped in chicken skin in the deep fried so what do you think matt um what are your thoughts on this one yeah this is a home run here mike um yeah. Oh, yeah. can't see this going wrong you got the spicy togarashi mm -hmm. underneath the uh crispy chicken skin that technology mm -hmm. is just outstanding yeah um Sorry, I want to apologize to all. Of we got a lot of action happening here in the house. <laughs> Sorry for all the background noise. I'm, I'm going to try to. That's a blow dryer you were hearing now, a faucet. Anyway, <laughs> this looks great, Mike. Yeah, yeah. 
All right. Well, that wraps us up for the Jiggy Wars. All right. On to our, uh, onto the scoreboard, Mike. Let's take a look at the numbers, the new mm-hmm. item numbers this week. We got uh, Family Mart 56, Lawson 45, 7 11 97, Mini Stop 26, Daily Yamazaki 6, Seiko Mart 6, Lost well, Sixes, mm-hmm. and New Days 20. Any thoughts on those numbers, Mike? No, Matt, you, like you were saying, lots of sixes. Just makes me think of the that famous number, 666, the devil, Matt. I've been watching uh, the newest season of Stranger Things 4. Pretty spooky. Oh, um, Those not kids too are far like 20 it. by now, right? No, they're like, they? they're like 45. They're like 50, <laughs> 50. So. Anyways, I watched the first episode with my mom last night. Hey, little spooky. But um, anyway, so uh, no, nothing nothing much to say. Um, pretty Pretty standard numbers all along here this week. All right, let's take a look at our winners and losers. And uh, let's see, Mike, your loser this week. Yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Matt, um, hey, what can I say? Uh, this is the Tampaku Shitsuga Afureru Chicken and Tamago. So this is um, the uh, chicken and egg sandwich that's full of protein. Hey, there's no doubt. Eggs and chicken are full of protein. What do we got, Matt? We got a, a hot dog roll. On top of that, we've got um, slices of, it looks like, boiled or steamed chicken. Um, and then we have uh, full, almost half slices of, uh, you know, uh, half boiled eggs or hard boiled eggs. Um, and then within that, we just got some some packing, some mortar uh, of uh, spicy <laughs> sauce, I guess. This is um, spicy sauce. I don't know. What's is there here. meat? That's meat sauce, though, too, right? Yeah, it does look like some meat in there as well. Um, you know, onions, some some spicy sauce. So, Matt, hey, um, in terms of the parts, hey, I got no problem here. You know, I like chicken, I like eggs, I like spicy sauce. Problem is, Matt, and as we've time and again, we're 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 pretty. I'd say we're some of the the harshest critics when it comes to um, you know sandwich composition. And um, Matt, this yeah. this thing, it's just an unwieldy uh, sandwich here. There's no way you're taking a bite of this without the whole thing exploding out. Everything is barely inside there. You've got, like I said, you've got this spicy sauce just barely keeping everything together. But you know, one bite of that, this thing's like a Moss burger. It's going to boom. It's, oh, yeah, good it's comparison. No bag. Right though. out the back. Yeah, no bag. Yeah, so good luck. You're going to you take one bite of this going right in your lap. So, um, yeah, Matt, hey. And I know um, for, the, for the newsletter readers as well, they probably saw this guy in the, uh, in the section that it deserves. And that's the... Uh, that's the dumpster man. section the dumpster. yeah it's <laughs> terrible oh yeah. yeah i couldn't agree more here mike like like you said here we put it in the uh, dumpster section of this week's <laughs> newsletter um i don't get the, this this uh, protein thing is getting out of control this is this is a very popular thing why, why is protein suddenly so popular in japan is it, are people trying to gain weight or uh I'm trying to get some of these some of the... some guns <laughs> nah. all right well if the price to pay for having some guns is this sandwich i'm not willing to pay it (laughs) all right mike on to my loser this week Mm -hmm. this was a bit of a mystery mike this this takes a little breaking down this is a cheetada pizza potato flavor oh my god okay so cheetada cheetada is the highly processed cod fish stick Mm. but mike the flavor here and let me, I gotta kind of get my mm. logic right. This is pizza flavored potato chip flavor, cheetada. Yeah. So there's, they're nesting flavors. So <laughs> let me just back up one more time. We're all familiar with the delicious pizza flavored potato chips. Yes. Oh, yeah. They're outstanding. Yeah. The cheetada, oh. the flavor is the pizza pizza flavored potato chip flavor mm-hmm. so these taste like those pizza potato chips but it's cheese wrapped in fish <laughs> <laughs> yes right i forgot about that important cheese component to the chi tata yes yeah. chi being the cheese part yeah we have cheese wrapped in codfish yeah stick form and then it's taking on this pizza <laughs> flavored potato chip flavor you ne- i you know you need an excel formula to really understand what the hell is going on here this is anyway <laughs> too complicated 
they're they're nesting flavors like I, I don't understand it and to think that pizza flavored potato chip flavor would be good on on Jeez. cheese flavored codfish i don't get it matt truly a loser and i'm glad that i completely <laughs> missed seeing this this is one of the greatest worst items we've ever seen first off you know i'm a strict opponent of cheetada <laughs> i hate cheetada you go back into the convenience store there's a whole section you got you know you got your jerkies you got your cheeses and it seems like hey there's a bunch of options of cheeses most of them are this cheetada which is a yeah it's you got this thin strip of cheese and on the side of that just a thin sort of layer of the cod the tara um and it's always a surprise you think oh it's cheese no it's cheese and fish <laughs> and then you're confused you're taking it like well this cheese is a little bit easier than i remember it and then so i hate chi tara i think it's awful I, maybe there's some fans out there but then like you said not only are they flavoring this stuff they're flavoring it with <laughs> pizza potato chip flavored flavor yeah um, this is one of the gr and cowby cowby always <laughs> finds its way into these sort of strange combinations don't they um i don't know matt great choice one of the great mystery items um we've ever seen one of the worst items i think I've, we I've, I've ever seen that i would never want to get but i'm actually kind of interested to be honest now yeah there's some <laughs> serious <laughs> engineering going on here yeah yeah <laughs> It is a limited edition item, so get it while it lasts, everybody. Yeah, and this and I just just before we go, this package is also confusing. You've got a package inside of a package, so it, it's yes. confusing. You've got a package, but then on, <laughs> there's a potato chip package on there. You don't know where the package begins. There's lots, <laughs> a lot of problems going on here, Matt. All right, I guess yeah, I'm getting a headache looking at this thing. All right, let's let's move on to some a little nicer. Our winners this week, your winner, Mike. Let's see what you yep. got. This will be pretty uh... very very simple, Matt. Oh, nice. What do we got, Matt? We got the Hokkaido. Yeah, this is from Seiko Mart. Hokkaido melon melon oh. daifuku, Matt. Never seen that. Me neither. So, let's go. Let's uh let's take take a step back. What is a daifuku? Daifuku is, uh, it's a, originally, normally, it's a thin mochi, sweet mochi outside, and inside is something sweet, I'd say, is where you could sort of, like, expand this boundary to. Um, a lot of times, a daifuku to have um, uh, Japanese sweets, so it's, like, beans, sweet beans. It's also known for being famous for the tsukimi daifuku, which is the ice cream. Uh, on the inside, you have an ice cream. On the outside, you have the thin uh, mochi shell, but this is the melon daifuku mat from the great state, the great area of Hokkaido, which we have featured many of times for their for their melon as well as other things. Um, inside here we have a melon filling mat, um, and hey, it's getting hot around the world. Um, there's nothing that looks cooler to me. Oh yeah, you know something to fit the times as good as this. It's not skimmy, the melon daifuku just looks like a dream. Um, beautiful. Uh, I, I, this, is, uh, this is something I'd really want to bite into this week. It does look really good. I've never seen melon daifuku. You always see uh, strawberry daifuku. Um, mm -hmm. I guess mostly just strawberry daifuku. I like the color, the bright orange. It almost looks like a, like a, like a poached egg. You know, it's got yeah. that bright orange yolk. Mm -hmm. But you're right, Mike, it's getting hot. Nothing's better than a juicy melon. So so juicy, looks a little sweaty when you when you <laughs> slice into it. This reminds me, Mike. You know, I, I recently discovered the world of luxury flu fruit influencers That's on right. YouTube. This is out. This is an outstanding genre. Mm -hmm. And um, there was a guy. He cut open two. I think there were. 80 yen, 8,000 8, yen or $80 melons. Mm. He took a bite, his head nearly exploded, Mike. Truly outstanding melon. Then I saw somebody eat a $250 melon. And he said it wasn't even the best fruit he had that day. <laughs> he said the mango was better. The mango was like 100 bucks, one mango. And then you go down the rabbit hole, seeing the farmers growing this stuff. And I gotta believe 
they're not they're probably not using the hundred dollar melon for this highly processed uh mochi no. here no <laughs> they may not be using any melon at all in fact yes. we have a breakdown yeah it's melon juice melon, melon juice can't melon oh. ame so melon like you sweets. can read that kanji yes it's one of my what? great skills <laughs> um, and melon tree. <laughs> wow that is amazing yeah yep Mike yep. Marky, everybody, reading Ame. I, I've never Wait, seen that. I'm just searching it now. That might not be Ame. But it looks very <laughs> close to Ame. Well, you can always pretend. Fake it till you make it, everybody. That is people not Ame. Who, by the way, people mm -hmm. who don't read Japanese, you can just pretend it says whatever, because they're going to just believe you. You know. That's right. It's very close. By the whole thing. It's very close oh. to Ame, but I'm imagining this is maybe um, some... All right, we're gonna. All right, and, and yeah, Sorry. people who don't read, but we have some, we have some viewers and listeners who are maybe probably sticklers on uh, on kanji. I'm gonna <laughs> gonna get ripped apart in the uh, comments. Anyways, um, oh, it's What's on. on. There we go. On. on. A. On. Okay. On. Okay. All right. All right. On to my winner this week, yep. Mike. Uh, my winner this week. Again, this was featured in the newsletter, but. Um, mm -hmm. Here we have the Country Ma'am Mami Ma Day Bakansu mm. Chocolate Banana Flavored Cookie Mike. And um, oh my goodness. we all are all familiar with Country Ma'am Cookie. These are the hey. best mm -hmm. soft cookies in all of Japan. Yeah. They're outstanding. Mm -hmm. But I picked this mostly for the packaging here, Mike. Yeah. Because what we got here, we got a we got a we got a chocolate cookie here. This guy's clearly yeah. done. We've all been there, Mike. You know, you think you're you got one more bong hit left in you. Turns out you don't. You know, this guy's <laughs> uh, this guy's definitely a little loosey goosey. He's floating on a banana. Yes. In a sea of chocolate, on his way to a deserted island that has a single tree growing bananas. And so, uh, mm. I gotta believe the guy who designed this was on some kind of uh, acid trip or something like this. But <laughs> chocolate banana flavor, a favorite of uh, somebody we haven't heard from in quite some time, um, the, spicy the, uh, the spicy commentator. That's mm -hmm. her favorite favorite yeah. flavor. Yes. Wow, Matt. Um, very exciting here. Um, country ma'am, as we know and love, one of the great sweets of Japan. There's no contest. Um, Country ma'am's good. Yeah, just, you know, the cookies. And this is a, a filler. This has got some filling in it, Matt. This is a outer shell or an outer um, sweet with the inside. you got that banana cream puree. They're saying this is Absolutely. puree, Matt. I wonder how much of this is real puree or if this is just <laughs> spread, you know. Spread. Um, and I, uh, but, yeah, awesome packaging. Um, wherever this guy who's floating on this banana is going, I want to go there too. Um, you know, I think we all need to grab some of these. Look like a nice treat in the summertime as well. Well, you know, if, if you if you look at Seven Eleven's items this week, there's a lot of there's a lot of banana flavored stuff. So I think Seven yeah. Eleven's got. A, we've all reached that point where you know the fruit flies start appearing. Yeah. Bananas starting to look a little brown. You think, oh, I should have put those in the freezer yesterday, but it's too late. Yeah, yeah, it's too late. So you got two options. You can throw them away, mm -hmm. or you can mush them up into something that you'll forget these are almost rotten bananas. <laughs> yeah. Still worth eating. <laughs> I think that's the problem 7-Eleven's probably facing right now. They just have some terrible stash of bananas that they need to unload. <laughs> All right, Mike. That wraps up... Uh, Oh, no, it doesn't. Uh, it's now on to my favorite segment, uh, At the Gemba with Mike. The Gemba, of mm -hmm. course, the place where the action happens, Mike. Mm -hmm. You're not at the Gemba this week, although you may be, depending on what you're going to share with us. Yeah. Um, what do you got for us? Well, Matt, um, as you know, I'm in the States. And so, actually, I was thinking about, you know, I've already hey, I've already been to McDonald's and um, Popeye's. It's only Excellent. been about... 24 hours um so uh but you know hey I, i'm gonna kick this can to next week um instead i'm just gonna take the um uh the opportunity to share a really exciting item matt that i picked up as my winner a few weeks ago i don't know how much how many of our uh listeners will remember matt but this is the jalapeno 
silly chicken <laughs> this burger. This is a winner? That looks terrible. This was my winner. Remember, <laughs> we had a talk. This I was saying that this is reminiscent oh, of Scotty's bus. Oh, jalapeno picking out Scotty's bus. In Frederick, Maryland. About? It was this old bus that this uh, this legendary guy drove around and served great sandwiches. This looks like it came off a bus. Yes, it does. And Matt, let me tell you, this was exactly as I wanted. This is a five star item for me, Matt. Let me let me walk you through what it is. And it's just a, it's a really soft, nice, roll uh, hamburger bun. On top of that, you have a uh, a grilled chicken um, steak that's actually really juicy and nice. Um, then on top of that, you have some uh, some sort of sweet and spicy um, hot sauce. Oh. And you also have some some mayonnaise in there as well. Ooh, and then on top of that, that you coming. have slices of jalapenos. And Matt, this was perfect. This was exactly as I wanted it to be. This felt like I was back on on Scotty's bus, <laughs> sitting down for a nice bite of one of those you know freshly cooked sandwiches. The roll was really soft. It was just a simple item, but absolutely knocked it out of the park. Um, I can not recommend this enough to people who like a little bit of spice and a little bit of Scotties, if you know what I mean. So, uh, yeah. So, I'm a little, I'm a little suspicious of Scotty luring, you know, children onto a bus with chicken sandwiches. I don't know how much I trust Scotty here, but um, yeah. yeah. How, was there a lot of jalapeno? Because, you know, traditionally, uh, j the Japanese don't really enjoy very spicy food. Yes. No, there was probably, I'd say, about three or four jalapenos. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. No, they were not holding back. But they weren't so spicy. You know, these are, I'd say, mild jalapenos. Okay. Um, and um, But in general, just a just a really great sort of new taste at the convini for me Matt this this sauce almost has like a almost like a like a barbecuey sort of like Ooh. flavor to it mm. um and really this felt like maybe you're like you know taking a cross trip you know cross country trip in America and you're pulling into some rest area where they're just like grilling you know serving local burgers or something you know okay. local uh, sandwiches this thing was out of this world Matt <laughs> we haven't seen five out of five stars <laughs> I'm starting to get a better picture of what you appreciate on the culinary, you know, landscape. Yeah. Mike Scotty's Busk and uh, rest stops. Yeah, you rest know, stops. that's uh, yeah. No, uh, that's great. Five out of five stars. I don't know if we've ever. It's been a long time, so great to see a home run here from the Convini. Absolutely amazing. But um, yeah, that's it for me. And next week, I'll definitely uh, share what uh, you know about this trip in America because I'm probably gonna eat. 10 more times at convenience store uh, fast foods places. Okay. Outstanding. All right, Mike. Uh, well, that wraps up episode 89 here. Big thanks to everybody who's been supporting us either through Buy Me a Coffee or the newsletter. If you do want to get more hot conveni action, head over to conveniboys.substack.com. We publish a newsletter about twice a week, including a game plan every Sunday so you can work out what new items to pick up at the conveni each week please rate and uh share the podcast apple podcast spotify wherever you get your podcasts you can check us out on youtube see all the stuff that we're talking about and uh we're on twitter follow us and uh you know retweet all that stuff mm -hmm. all right that's uh that wraps it up mike i'll see you at the conveni see you at the conveni matt <laughs>